Hey guys, Heat of Essentials here. Today's video is going to be all about budget friendly lighting ideas, starting with some decorative pieces that I got from IKEA. I'm going to be using two of these and spray painting them gold. I'm also going to be using this glass candle holder that I got from the Dollar Tree. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to be pouring in this diamond tape scatter that I got from Michael's craft store. I'm going to add just a little bit of gems to make it look fuller. I'm going to attach something transparent at the top. And then when I'm done, I'm going to be gluing all three pieces together. The glass from the Dollar Tree seemed a little bit bulky and didn't really fit so well. So I switched it out for something else that I had at home that was slimmer. I have a lot of these, so I don't mind using this one. For the lighting, I'm just going to use a foam board that I cut to size and then I'm going to be having push lights on top of it and then I'm going to place it inside the shade. For the second design, I'm going to be using decorative ornaments that have been spray painted gold and I'll be attaching string lights inside. The string lights are going to be wrapped around a plastic spoon that has been separated. The string lights uses a remote to make it easy to turn the lights on and off. I made three of these and then I mounted them at different heights. I placed the battery packs on a foam board that has been suspended at the top. The next DIY is one of my old videos that I would like to share with you guys again, specifically for those of you who haven't seen it before. Now all I'm going to do now is prep the cardboard for the chandelier. I spray painted it silver, covered it with bling wrap and also with mirror reflective paper and made a hole in the middle. I cut skewers to size, glued them, and then make squares of different sizes, and then spray painted them silver. I'll be cutting different lengths of the fishing lines and attaching them to the squares. The strings on the larger square is going to be glued down to the board. Now I'm going to be using silver plastic spoons from the Dollar Tree, separating the pieces that I need, including gems that I got from the Dollar Tree as well, to make a pattern in the middle for the chandelier. I made two of these and I'm going to be attaching them together in a way that's going to form a curve. I'm going to make another piece that's similar to this and glue them together. This is going to be attached in the middle.
this is the lighting that I'm going to be using. Now, because of the thickness, I'm going to be cutting cardboard that's going to be thick enough by the sides to compensate for the thickness of the battery pack. This can be mounted with command strips. I'll be adding mirrors and more gems to the top of the design. And I'll be attaching silver plastic spoons. They have been decorated with little pieces from beads onto the skewers. Moving on to the fourth design. I'll be using this sheet that I got from Home Depot and I'm going to roll it and hold it together with zip ties. But the first thing I'm going to do is take it out and spray paint it gold. I'm going to spray paint the zip ties. I'll be using motion sensor lighting for this particular DIY. And this is the magnet that comes with the lighting. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm going to be making a lot of these. And because of where I want to keep them, I would prefer to use a motion sensor lighting. You can choose any of the openings to mount this on the wall. The next design is almost the same thing, but a little bit different. I'm going to be starting with foam boards. I'll trace out the shape and then get a circle that's slightly bigger than what I've just drawn. I'm going to carve out the shapes, glue them together, keep that aside. And then take a PVC pipe that I got from Home Depot, spray painted gold, trace the shape in the middle, and then make deep grooves on that shape and on the outer shape as well. I'll be carving the top with contact paper and gluing the pipe in the middle. I made a deep groove for this, so I'm also going to be gluing this down as well. I spray painted the bottom part gold and now I'm going to be covering it with bling wrap. I'm going to add bling wrap at the top as well. And then I'm also going to add a leftover PVC trim at the top. I'll be putting a motion sensor lighting inside this. Now to make this a unique floor lamp and make it a little bit taller, I made and added another one on top. For the next design, I'll be using the same kind of base. And for the lighting, I'll be using string lights that has USB and a plug. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. All I did was wrap the strings around the upper part. And now I have two modes of lighting. I placed a sheet on top and now I have a table lamp. The 
next design is another old video that I made a while back that I like to revisit again. And I use these items to build a structure for the lighting. After putting this inside, I decided to just increase the height by adding another oats container. Now I'm going to be covering the containers with poster board. I sealed it with masking tape and this is what the bottom part looks like. I kept that aside and now I'm going to be taking hoops and prepping them and attaching them to the main pipe. I'm going to add one more in the middle. Now I'm going to be taking a smaller sized hoop and attaching it to the design. Now I'm going to place what I just made inside here and fill it up with rocks. I'm going to neatly cover the top with foam board. I spray printed it silver and covered the rough side at the bottom with bling wrap. I also added other embellishments to make it look pretty. I'm going to be cutting out pieces from a Dollar Tree tray to cover up the imperfections that I have on the lamp. I'll be adding some other embellishments to it. This is the lighting that I used with this lamp and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. For the last design, but not the least, I'll be using a decorative fruit bowl that I got from IKEA. This is a unique decorative piece 
And just FYI, these are faux apples, by the way. I'm gonna turn it to the back and remove the label that's there. And then this opening right here is where I'm gonna be having the fish line passing through it to make it easy for me to mount it on the wall. I'll keep that aside and then take a mirror, clean it, and attach another motion sensor lighting in the middle. I got this one from Home Depot and it is extremely bright. I'm gonna be mounting this on the wall with command strips. This holds up to 16 pounds, so I'm gonna be using just a pair. I mounted one on the wall, this is what it looks like. This is the second one. And then I mounted the fruit bowls over them. I mounted the fruit bowls with tack nails to make it easy for me to remove them when I want. I love this design so much and the possibilities are endless. And think about how great they're gonna look when you use them as regular wall sconces with something pretty in the middle. And to think that they're just regular fruit bowls I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.